Hi, Connect family. So grateful for this opportunity to be able to share with you once again. One of the things that I've been learning through this pandemic is that the unseen is more real than the seen. The unseen is more real than the seen. I find it very easy to just focus on the natural. If I can smell it and touch it, feel it, see it, then it must be real. But the unseen world is more real than the seen world. For instance, who would have ever imagined that we would see our whole world as we know it grind to a halt because of an unseen virus? I'd love to read to you from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18. It says, The things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. The things which are seen are temporary, the things which are not seen are eternal. Now God has been challenging me to focus on the unseen realm where he is doing his best work. The work that he's wanting to do in my heart to help me focus on trusting him, uh, to build faith in my heart, to uh, grow in patience and grow in peace. God will use challenging times like this to disrupt us, to help us to realize we're not invincible and to help us to come to know him more and to understand his ways and to look to him, to to trust him and to grow in our walk with him. Let me read the preceding verses to that passage I just read from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 11, verse 16 to 18 from the Message Bible. It says, For we are not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside, it often looks like things are falling apart on us. So true in this trying times. On the inside, where God is making new life, not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. Did you hear that? On the inside, where God is making new life. And that's what he wants to do in you. And he's using his unfolding grace to accomplish it. These hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's far more here than meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, but gone tomorrow. But the things we cannot see now will last forever. That's the work that God wants to do in your life. It will last forever. So I encourage you today to open your heart and allow him to draw you close to him, to open your eyes to see that he's doing a great work in your life, enlarging you, preparing you for bigger things up ahead if you'll allow him to. The Apostle Paul prayed an apostolic prayer in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 18 to 19. And I'm going to read that and pray that over you and each and every one of you as I read I'd love you to open your hearts and why don't you take a moment to listen to this amazing apostolic prayer. It comes from Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 9, 16 to 19. I ask, the Apostle Paul says, I ask the God of our Master Jesus Christ, the God of glory, to make you intelligent and discerning in knowing Him personally your eyes focused and clear so that you can see exactly what it is he's calling you to do, to grasp the immensity of this glorious way of life he has for us Christians. Oh, the utter extravagance of his work in us who trust him. Endless energy and boundless strength. Endless energy and boundless strength. Folks, that's what God has in store for us. And I'm going to pray right now for you that you would allow God to do that incredible work in your hearts. Well, Father, I believe for each one of my family, 
my spiritual family, Lord, that you would open their eyes of their understanding and you would draw them closer to you so that your work, the work of your Holy Spirit, can uh, be done fully in their lives, that they would grow in love for you and for in love for each other and that you would uh, enlarge their capacity to uh, see incredible things happen in their own lives because of the work of your Spirit. I pray that in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Thanks, folks, and I'll talk to you again soon. God bless you.